So I have up on the screen at the moment a subset of a Landsat derived NDVI image. And over the top of that, I'm going to overlay my tree crown data, which was derived using eCognition and Worldview 2 imagery. Now, because the Worldview 2 imagery only covers a very small area than that covered by the Landsat data, what I want to be able to do is to develop a model that will allow me to extrapolate the vegetation density within each of those pixels in a Landsat image across to the entire image. So to do that, the next step, what I need to do is to create a vector grid that's going to align directly with my NDVI image. What I'll be able to do once I've got a grid with individual cells is to count the number of trees within those cells or count the area that's covered by the vegetation in that particular area. So to do this I'm going to close up to start with and I'm going to open two different pieces of software that are going to allow me to create this grid and I'll also use further down the track as well. Now these are both free pieces of software. The first one is R and the second one is GME. So I've installed both of those already and you can access those via your start menu and under all programs. So R is listed there and GME is actually under spatial ecology. So you can see that available there. So once you start up R, you can actually minimise it. We don't interact with it directly, but it does need to be running for GME to work. So then we open up GME. Now what I'm going to do here is, because I know exactly what I want to use, I'm just going to type in the, in the search line here, um, VEC, and the generate vector grid is the first one in the list there, which is what I'm going to use. Now my reference layer will be that NDVI subset image that I've been working with in ARC. So I'm just going to select that when that comes up. And I'm also going to force the dimensions of my output layer to have 30 by 30 meter cells, which is the same as what a Landsat image has. I can select a file that I'm going to write out to, but I've already created this, so I'm actually not going to do it at this stage, but that would be normally what you do. And I'm also going to select that I'm working with polygon geometry. I'm going to leave the snap option out. So what this would normally do would be to snap your grid to the nearest coordinate system. And while my output grid is going to have coordinates associated with it, I don't want to snap it to that as I want to make sure that it aligns perfectly with my NDVI image. So you can go ahead and run that once you've accepted those defaults. And then I'm just going to minimize it and come back into ARC. Now what I'll do now is to add that file that I've just created as the Landsat grid. And now that's just dropped in on top of all my other layers. So what I want to do is I'll just go into the properties and change this to a hollow symbol so you don't have any color associated with it there. Now what you can see here is that it looks basically like my NDVI image has now got outlines around the outside of each individual pixel, which is exactly what I want because I can now start to get the information that is within the, both within the NDVI and then also associated with that tree crown layer and link those two together, which I couldn't do if they were, if it was uh, still a raster data set. You'll also remember that I have cre previously created a point data set associated with that NDVI file. So you'll be able to see that I've got points that have as their attribute the NDVI of the of the cell that's below it and I can now also use the, the tree crown information which is that green layer and I can link the two of those together.